In this video, I will install and run PHP Code Igniter and the XM in Windows 7. Code Igniter is a powerful PHP framework based on the model view controller development pattern. So you can go to this website in libslab.com slash coignite. Let's open this website, coignite website and click download. After click download, you can see the zip coignite, the zip file, you can unzip this file. So I already have XM installed in the C directory. This is HD doc, this is a loop directory. I install the code igniter under XM. Of course, you can directly install code igniter under HD doc. So let's go to this website. So let's go to localhost XM. Slash SM. Because I install code igniter installed in the XM. So you slash code igniter. Then you can see the message immediately show welcome to code igniter. And you can see the welcome message here. So that means you install code igniter successfully. Now let's look at the code igniter directly under this application system user guide. The most important is for us is the directly click the application. So under application we can see config directly this important. And another important thing is views. View views controllers and models. Models. These are four that are important. Let's first go to config file. In PHP we often need to connect to database. So we need to config database. Database of PHP you can edit this one. Uh, default is a local host. Let's collect uh, username. It's not set up. For my case, I set change to root password. I don't have you know set a password in the local host yet for root. So default uh, database for well, my in my case it's a test directory. I use test directory. Default is empty, so you can set up uh, database. First important thing is controller. Your website is interact with controller. Controller interact with the models and view. So first we need to for the controller. Controller is I before is the welcome to PHP I add the test the PHP. So after test PHP, how to assess with test the PHP, you can directly the code in either index of PHP and slash test. Then you can assess the test the PHP. Let's open this test the PHP. So the test the PHP this is the you should define the class test. Same name, but this with capital. So X10 is a child of a CI controller. Then you have a pub defined public function. It's called index of index public function. In my case, I load the models user. Is the users the PHP users under the models the PHP under the models. I also this low viewers test. And I also transfer some of the data to this uh, real test of PHP. And I can directly echo the message out. And this is the uh, models I can set some data set here. Let's look at the models users of PHP. So under models, I have a user of PHP. Remember this lowercase here. And you can add, check this one. You can see here the same. Name should be the same, users, but this U is the capital. The file name is lowercase. We extend these models, uh, this pattern directly. So I define a private username and a password. I define contract class. Define a simple function, set username, this one. Set password. And I directly create a public function for the logging function. And this load database. And put a username and password, set this one. And use the select that if this uh, query return equal one, and say username password match and it's not match. And under the views, I have a test of PHP. And here 